Good morning children. Welcome to the English class. Have you all heard about King Vikramaditya? King Vikramaditya or King Vikram was a legendary ruler in ancient India with his capital at Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh. He was considered an ideal ruler and he was known for his generosity, wisdom and bravery. But some scholars believe he was a mythical character. But you can read hundreds of stories about King Vikramaditya in many Indian traditional stories including the Betal Pachisi which is 25 stories of Betal and the Singhasan Batisi which is 32 stories of the throne. Children, today we are going to learn the chapter, chapter 4, Vikram and Betal from your English workbook. So this is a story taken from the Betal Pachisi. So this is the story in which Betal narrates the story of King Chandragat to King Vikramaditya. And who is this Betal? Betal is a spirit, a supernatural being which was believed to be visiting King Vikramaditya and test his wisdom using different stories. Now let's read the story of King Chandrakant which was narrated by Betal to King Vikramaditya. So all of you please take your English workbook and turn to page number 25. Long long ago there lived a king named Chandrakant. He was famous for his courageous actions. One day a guard who was in charge of protecting the main entrance of the palace came to him and said, Your Majesty, you must alert our soldiers. The enemy's army might attack our fort within a few days. So, how do you usually address a king, a ruler? You address a king or ruler like your majesty or your royal highness. So, there is this royal guard and who is a royal guard? Royal means something connected to the king or the queen or the members of the family. So one day this royal guard who had the duty of guarding the main entrance of the palace, he one day went to the king. Which king? King Chandrakat. He went to the king and warned the king to inform his soldiers to get prepared for an enemy attack. King Chandrakant asked the soldier how he could predict such a happening. The guard did not respond properly and said that he was only making a guess. So when the royal guard warned King Chandrakant about the enemy attack which may happen soon, obviously king asked him how he knew about the attack. But then what did the royal guard do? Did he reply to the king? No. He seemed to be hiding something. He did not answer the king properly. He just replied that he is just making a guess. After a few days, the army of the neighboring kingdom did attack Chandrakant's kingdom. Thanks to the soldiers warning, Chandrakant was able to fight them back. He decided to give a suitable reward to the guard once the battle was over. So. Based on what the royal guard had warned him, King Chandrakant had got his soldiers prepared for an enemy attack. So in fact, the enemy attack happened a few days later. And because the people were already prepared for it, King Chandrakant and his men were able to defeat the enemy army. And they were victorious in the battle. And this was made possible only because the royal guard had warned them earlier. So what did the king decide? The king decided to give a suitable reward to the guard once the battle was over. Next day, the guard was called to the court to receive his reward from the king. So the next day, the royal guard was called by the king to receive a special gift. The king asked him once again how he could foresee the event so accurately. The guard then answered, Your Majesty, in my dreams, I can see things that are going to happen. One night, while I was doing my duty, I had a dream about the enemy's army attacking us. 
So when the king was giving the reward, he again asked the royal guard how he could foresee such an enemy attack. And did the royal guard reply him properly? Now, yes, the royal guard said, he was being truthful. He said, your majesty, one night while he was on his duty, he was dreaming, he was sleeping and he had a dream that an enemy army might attack the fort very soon. And what is a fort? A fort is similar to a palace, but it will have more safety features compared to a usual palace. So this royal guard informed the king that he had this dream of the enemy attack and he thought it would be a good idea to warn the king and his people about this so that they can get prepared to defeat the enemy army. So the king gave 1000 gold coins to the guard after hearing this. So what did the king do? He gave 1000 gold coins to the royal guard as a reward. And in ancient times, the kings used to give rewards to people like in the form of gold or silver coins. So just like that, he rewarded his royal guard with 1000 gold coins. Then suddenly the king said, you are fired from the post of a royal guard. The guard quietly accepted the king's decision and left. And immediately after giving the reward, what did the king do? The king fired the royal guard from his job. And what do you mean by firing someone from their job? To fire someone from their job means to dismiss or terminate someone from their job. So immediately after giving this reward, this king, King Chandragant, fired the royal guard from his duty. But did he question it? No. The royal guard quietly accepted the king's decision and left. And everyone in the court was astonished by the king's decision, but nobody questioned him. So everyone got really surprised. But the king is the supreme power. No one can question his word. So nobody questioned the decision and everyone watched the guard leaving the palace in silence. So this was the story that Bedal narrated to King Vikramaditya. And after the story, Bedal asked Vikram, can you tell me why the king fired the guard even when he had helped the king to win the battle? So the story was over and Betal is asking King Vikram or Vikramaditya if he can tell why the king fired the royal guard from his duty. And what did King Vikram answer? Vikram answered, Betal, the duty of a guard is to protect the palace's gate. Since the guard said that he was dreaming at the time of his duty, the king realized that he was sleeping instead of guarding the gates. So though he helped the king win the battle, he had failed to perform his duty. That is why the king fired him from the post of a royal guard. So what did King Vikram answer? King Vikram answered, Baital, what is the duty of a royal guard? The duty of a royal guard is to safeguard the palace gates and even though the royal guard helped King Chandragant to win the battle by warning him earlier, what was he doing on his duty? While on his duty, he was sleeping. He was not doing his duty properly. He was sleeping and he was having dreams. So since he was not doing his duty properly, he got fired. As soon as Vikram gave the answer, Bedal flew back to the tamarind tree. So once King Vikramaditya gave this answer, gave this reply to Bedal, he flew back to the tamarind tree. And why tamarind tree? See, there is this tale of the meeting between King Vikramaditya and Bedal. Let me tell that story to you. So in King Vikramaditya's palace, every day a sage used to visit the king. And the sage used to bring a special fruit for the king. The king did not eat the fruit. He did not ask the saint why he was visiting him every day. Instead, the king ordered his men to keep the fruit safely stored. And days passed by, the sage would bring a special fruit every day for the king and his men would store it safely. And one day this king was sitting in his palace and near to the palace wall 
He saw one monkey eating one of these fruits that the sage had brought and while the monkey was eating that fruit, a precious gem fell out of the fruit. The king noticed this and he ordered his men to bring all the fruits that were kept safe. And when the king examined the fruits one by one, he could find precious gems in each of the fruits that the sage had brought him. And he gave all these precious gems to the poor people. And the next day, when the sage again visited the king, King Vikramaditya asked the saint why he was visiting him every day and why he was gifting this precious gem to him every day. He was not ready to accept such a precious gift without a reason. He wanted to know the reason why the sage was doing such a thing. And what did the sage reply? The sage replied to King Vikramaditya that he wanted someone brave for a spiritual goal. And what was the spiritual goal? The sage told this King Vikramaditya to visit the sage on a burial place on a special night. And on this special night, King Vikramaditya went to this burial place where he was supposed to meet the sage. And when he reached there, it was a forest. It was a thick forest. When the king reached the place where the sage was waiting, the sage told him to go to the south end of that forest and there will be this tamarind tree. And on that tamarind tree, there will be a dead body. There will be a corpse or dead body. And King Vikramaditya has to bring this dead body to the sage for some spiritual cause. And what did the king do? The king is such a brave man. The king, King Vikram, went to this place, went to the south end of this forest and he saw this tamarind tree and he saw this dead body. It was hanging on the tree. He somehow managed to take it from the tree and he started carrying it on his shoulder. But then what happened? The dead body came alive and it was a spirit and he, that spirit was trying to escape back onto the tamarind tree but then it asked King Vikram why he was trying to take him away then Vikram said that a sage ordered him to bring the Bethal, the spirit the spirit was Bethal. the sage had ordered to bring Bethal to him and that's why King Vikram was carrying Bethal to the sage the spirit Bethal put forward one condition Bedal said to Vikram that till he reaches the sage, King Vikram is not supposed to open his mouth or say a word. King Vikram agreed and he started walking back to the sage with Bedal on his back. Bedal was narrating this story to Vikram and when Vikram gave answer to his question, what did Bedal say? Bedal said, I had asked you not to open your mouth but you opened your mouth and you talked. And so, I'm going back to this tamarind tree. So, Bedal had put forward one condition. King Vikram is not supposed to say any word or open his mouth at all in between his journey uh, from the mountain to the sage. So, if ever he said a word, Bedal would go back to the tamarind tree from where Vikram got the spirit. So, while they were traveling back to the sage, Bedal was narrating this story to Vikram and Vedal asked this question to Vikram and Vikram gave this answer to the question that Vedal asked about King Chandragat and the royal guard. So Vedal had told earlier never to utter a word. But since King Vikram forgot about the condition that Vedal had put forward, Vikram answered Vedal's question. So what did Vedal do? Vedal flew back to the tamarind tree. So that, that's why it is given here, Pedal flew back to the tamarind tree. The story behind this like that. So children, I hope the story of King Chandragat and Royal Guard and King Vikram and Pedal was interesting to you. You can find a lot of Vikram and Pedal stories online. You can try to read some stories with the help of your parents. It would be very interesting. I suggest you please do that. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Until then, bye.